Game Freak has a very distinctive pattern before they release the next generation of Pokemon. Generally what they do is they trademark certain words in Japanese and those words are generally based around the new Pokemon that are coming out and it appears they've already begun the trademarking for the new Sun and Moon Pokemon and the image on the side is pretty much what we could be getting for the starters for Sun and Moon. So I just wanted to share the picture with you guys and quickly discuss the trademark words and also my opinions on these possible starters. Now again they are possible but the trademark words are definite and I believe on Tuesday we're going to be getting some real news in re regards to actual official official stuff but this seems like it's very very close. So in regards to the grass Pokemon they've actually copyrighted the word grass, they've copyrighted the word wood, and they've copyrighted the word owl. Now let's just take a little look at the green one that we got and um, he appears to be an owl that's green with wooden wings. So those trademark words really make sense to how he looks. So I could see this guy as being the final one. Now for the fire, they've trademarked the word fire and the word tiger. Um, this can't be the final model. It looks too weak and it doesn't look anything like a tiger or even a tiger cub. I, I actually don't like how this uh, this fire guy looks. I'm curious if you guys like it, which is why I'm happy this is a possible starter, not the actual thing. But the trademark words fire and tiger are accurate. And then for the water one, we have the word seal, ball, and water. I think it's funny that they copyrighted the word or trademarked the word water, fire, and grass. I'm assuming they have to do that every time they release a new generation, obviously the trademark only lasts so long. So they copyrighted the word seal, ball, and water, and this one, I don't know why the word ball would be copyrighted or uh, trademarked, but he definitely looks like a seal. The only problem I have with it being a seal is we already have a seal from generation one, but I think uh, the way the Pokemon looks is very cute, and I have a feeling that his third evolution will probably look super strong and be a really, really powerful water Pokemon to give Blastoids and Feraligatr a run for their money. So the only one of these I really don't like is the fire one. And the reason why I don't like the fire one is, A, I think it looks really wimpy. And also, I, if you notice with the fire or with the grass and the water one, they copyrighted or trademarked three words. And with the fire one, they only trademarked two. So I'm wondering if they're missing a third word. And once they get that third word in there, whatever it is, it'll allow for a, uh, a better looking Pokemon. But yeah, so we have a f grass, fire, water possible starters for Sun and Moon. They're much better than the other one that I covered on the Model Nerds channel. These guys just look more interesting, more, more I don't want to say charismatic because you haven't seen the personality yet, but they just look more interesting, more fun, and also they look so much more official. And I really love the Sun and Moon logo that we have. At least the logos are official. So share your thoughts about these in the comments below. I just wanted to get a quick little video about these uh, these starters out, and we'll talk more about Sun and Moon as more information gets leaked. So thank you so much for checking out this quick little review or announcement, and we'll talk soon. Bye.